Now, the ANC's Integrity Commission has briefed the media, and that was earlier today, about its plans of action following the appointment of a new commission. The newly appointed chair and the deputy were presented. And who was there? Muloko Mulota, our reporter, attended that briefing, and he's back now. He's joining us live just to tell us exactly uh, what, uh, what, what's happening. Interesting, when there's also a changeover and the new broom comes in, people expect them to sweep clean. But the Integrity Commission plays a very important role in terms of ethics and conduct in the ANC. So, what was said in the briefing? What were the highlights? Well, indeed, the, our viewers would recall that this Integrity Commission of the ANC was established in 2013 after the Mangaung Conference decided that there has to be a committee that will essentially rein in the delinquent uh, party leaders and members. Even if you have not uh, been charged criminally, but for as long as your integrity, your behavior is bringing the ANC into disrepute, tarnishing the image of the party, that committee can actually bring you in and say, uh, come and explain yourself and they can make a recommendation. But the only challenge is that they don't have much power. They can only make a recommendation to the National Executive Committee, which must take a decision. And in the past, we have seen some of their recommendations being ignored simply by those who are affected, specifically the former president. They wanted him to resign, Jacob Zuma. The NEC at the time, which was supporting him, simply ignored that particular report. And there were also allegations that uh, it, this committee has been used as a political tool uh, to serve a particular faction. Now, the new chairperson, Reverend Frank Chigani, as well as the deputy chairperson, the uh, uh, ANC stalwart uh, Sophie Debrain, were presented there, along with other members of the commission, the likes of uh, the former executive mayor of Twani and chairperson of the Moral Regeneration Movement, Fathers Mangalisum Mangalisu and other eminent uh, uh, veterans of the ANC. The issue of corruption, obviously, is one uh, matter which uh, this committee, according to the chairperson, is saying, as the country, not only as the ANC Integrity Committee, we must get down to fighting it. And they are saying that they are going to be calling those whose integrity is in question. Perhaps let's listen to Reverend Frank Chigani as he was responding to some of the questions from the members of the media. We don't have a choice as a country. I'm dealing with another project about saving the country. We have to save this country. I'd I don't want to make examples of other countries, I'll get into trouble. Uh, but we are sliding fast, and I've met uh, Africans who are with us here who say to me, you know, we saw this happening in our country, and uh, you're going to be like our country. You know what I'm talking about? We saw it. And, and I think it's... It's important for us, all of us, including the media, to say, no, we're not going in that direction. Um, and you would have heard me saying before, some, when I was in one of the countries, they say the ambassadors, you know, you guys are doing well, we want to be like you. Please don't fail, because if we fail, then we have no hope. And then others say, Ah, you are going to be like us in any way. Just let's wait. You still have your Mandela, but we'll just wait a little bit, and you're going to be like us. So I think it's important for us as South Africans, including yourselves, to say, no, we're not going to allow this to happen. And we need to make sure the criminals don't take over the country. For now, criminals are running us. In terms of ESCOM, for instance, we have darkness here because criminals are holding us ransom, and we need to break it. You can't say as government we should leave it because it's important. No. We should have intelligence enough. We should have uh, the, the force that can deal with that crisis. You know, just listening to Reverend Frank Chikane, they're mentioning the fact that for some time there were people who said South Africa will be different from other African countries and other African brothers and sisters were telling us, no, you will see one day post Mandela how you're going to slide into corruption and people didn't believe. There was always this misconception of saying South Africa is different from the rest of the continent, but currently you can see how criminalized our state has become. And he's quite correct. As a governing party and you 
fashion yourself as a leader of society, you have to deal with ethics and you have to, you have to work very hard to decriminalize the state. Well, in his words, we heard him. He says criminals are running us. But then I wanted to ask him more to say, when you say criminals are running us, are you therefore saying in the current leadership of the ANC, there are criminals there. And he flatly refused to respond to that question. And he was obviously also trying to compare the situation at the time. As you would recall, he was the director general in the presidency, saying at the time under President Mbeki, or even during the time of Mandela then, the corruption was still there, but it was not at the wholesale stage or level as it is now, saying at this point in time, things are totally out of control. Yeah, they're coming in now. Other cases, they're handling other names that they're looking at. Did Reverend Chikane speak about any of them? Well, I must say, honestly, they were there simply wanting to introduce themselves to us. They were not really taking or fielding difficult questions that we wanted to ask them, simply ignoring them. I mean, I also asked to say, the, the issue of Isma Khashule, I, if I'm not wrong, he has until today to respond to that uh, letter or decision of the National Disciplinary Committee that says he is fired. And the issue of Pala Pala, the president, we know he has withdrawn his uh, constitutional court challenge. And also the issue of Zuelim Kize, the issue of digital vibes. All those are the questions that I pose to him to say, where are you? And he simply said, we're not talking about those things today. So maybe one day soon we'll, we'll hear from them. Thank you very much, Muloko Muloto there. Just giving us a wrap of what happened at that media briefing by the incoming, let's call them that, uh, newly appointed ANC's Integrity Commission. Now that is headed by Reverend Frank Chikane and his deputy is a struggle stalwart, anti-apartheid fighter, Sophie Debrain. And it's very interesting that it's coming at this time, around this day, when the ANC has just lost one of its uh, senior members. Uh, Tina Jumat Peterson, who passed away recently, and the ANC expressing its deep sadness. We'll talk about that. I mean, her death just comes uh, after allegations were made against her and several other senior ANC members, uh, allegations of, um, of uh, bribery or attempted bribery, uh, the husband of the suspended public protector, Busisiwim Kweban.